Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. The PayPal Cashback MasterCard is adding a foreign transaction fee to the card, and so we are gonna talk about that, and then we'll also talk about if there are still other cards on the market where you could get what the PayPal Cashback MasterCard was offering, which is no annual fee, 2% cash back on everything, and no foreign transaction fees. There are some, but not too many. Anyway, before we do that, I'm gonna ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So the PayPal Cashback MasterCard has added a foreign transaction fee. If you don't have this card and you were to apply now, now, you would have that foreign transaction fee added to the card anytime you made a purchase outside of the United States. You would now be charged an extra 3% on those purchases. So that is already live. I actually went in today and looked at the terms and conditions. It looks like it changed. It's hard for me to understand exactly what these codes are that they have on the top of their terms and conditions, but it looks like it changed either in March or April. April. Now, if you are an existing PayPal Cashback MasterCard holder, as far as I can tell, that is going to happen in July. So you're going to add that uh, foreign transaction fee on July 25th. And I got that information from a uh, someone who posted on the MyFICO forums. In fact, that's where I saw the uh, fact that this tran foreign transaction fee was being added to this card. Now, for many people, this won't mean a whole lot. If you don't travel outside of the United States, you don't really care too much about foreign transaction fees because you only pay them on purchases outside of the United States. But for some people, this is a differentiating factor of the PayPal Cashback MasterCard versus other 2% flat cashback cards, in particular the City Double Cash card. So basically by Synchrony Bank and PayPal, Synchrony being the issuer of the PayPal Cashback MasterCard, by them adding this 3% foreign transaction fee, they basically have made themselves just like the City Double Cash. And so for a lot of people, they're probably now gonna choose the City Double Cash over the PayPal Cashback MasterCard. But anyway, that said, are there other cards out on the market that give you no annual fee, 2% flat cash back and no foreign transaction fees, yes, but there aren't too many. So the credit card out there that is most likely to benefit from this change to the PayPal Cashback MasterCard, other than the City Double Cash, of course, is the SoFi credit card, which does have no annual fee, 2% flat cash back, no foreign transaction fees. So this card has been out to the public less than a year, maybe even less than six months as I make this video. And so it has been sort of a slow process of it rolling out. But now I would think that there are going to be, uh, you know, more people interested in this card. And so SoFi is probably going to see a little more interest, a few more applicants. Now, there are only two other credit cards out there on the market that I know of that meet the criteria that we are talking about here, and both of them come from credit unions that may have limiting factors. The first of those is the State Department Federal Credit Union Premier Cashback Plus card, which has no annual fee, 2% cashback, no foreign transaction fees. Now, in order to become a member of State Department Federal Credit Union, you have various ways you could get in if you are an employee employee of the State Department, and then there are a lot of other organizations as well. If you don't on the surface fit any of those organizations, well, there actually is sort of a back door. You can join the American Consumer Council, and when you do that, then you could get membership into the State Department Federal Credit Union, and then you could get your hands on this card. Now, you do have a small fee in order to join the American Consumer Council and get access to the State Department Federal Credit Union. Whether that is worth it to you or not, I don't know, but if that is something that is important to you to get one of those 2% cards, that's one way to do it. And then Pentagon Federal Credit Union, also known as PenFed, has the Power Cash Rewards card. In order to get this card, which is 2% cash back, no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, you have to be a member of PenFed, which is something you can do by being someone who is in various government jobs or in the military, or there's sort of a backdoor into PenFed as well that you can look into if you wanted to apply to be a member of that credit union. But anyway, not only do you have to be a member, but you also have to be part of their Honors Advantage program, which means you either have to have a PenFed checking account as well as the credit card 
or you have to be a current or former member of the military. And that is really it. Now the Fidelity Visa is another card that maybe you would think of as being sort of an honorable mention here because it is a 2% flat cash back card with no annual fee and a 1% foreign transaction fee, which is better than the 3% foreign transaction fee that you would get from the PayPal card or from the City Double Cash card or from some other 2% flat cash back cards out there. Still, if you were using your card outside of the United States and you had a 1% foreign transaction fee, you got a 2% reward, that means you're essentially you know, com coming out to a 1% reward on that card when you use it outside of the United States. So you'd be better off with a different card that had no foreign transaction fee and a better reward than 1% cash back. So sort of an honorable mention and sort of not. So that is it to PayPal and Synchrony Bank. We say boo, adding that foreign transaction fee on top of what was a very good card is going to make it fairly run of the mill. Questions, comments? Put them in that comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and we talk personal finance and we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.